Sometimes when you play Mahjong, American style anyway, with the Charleston, you second guess yourself, at least I do. One exercise that I like to do to kind of help me with my confidence is called Charleston chain reaction. I set up drawn tiles and then I do the Charleston with one category in mind and then I test myself to see if maybe there was another way to go. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They have been mixed. We're going to say we're the dealer, so I'm going to take 14 tiles. Then I will create a Charleston with tiles I know don't include jokers. Well, I think it's pretty clear. Consecutive run. One, two, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, five. There are several combinations we could work with. We actually have to pick a hand. I'm not gonna pass a flower. Won't do it. So I'm thinking a one, two, three, four, five dot. This would be the fourth hand down and we had to pick a hand already because we only had two discards plus a risky tile so if we have one two one two flower let's just count because there is that concealed pung hand so we would have one two three four five six seven eight and it's a 30 point hand versus one two three four five six seven and that would be also a 30 point hand oh shoot which would i do so i guess this chain reaction one two pung hand or the five range mixed suit hand let's give up a three you know we could even play one two dragons let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh, you know what I need to take a photo. We got to take photos along the way so we can recreate this. I almost wrecked that. Okay, photo. Now, let's pass. Photo. Take a photo. So we have three, four. One, two, three, four. We could even play maybe a pair hand. Okay, let's see. All right, one, two, three, four, five pair hand with the dragon, the fourth hand down. Let's pass these three. Take a photo. Okay, we got a flower and a three. I would love to play the pear hand. Pear, 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 pear. Let's see if we can make a pear hand work and pass these like numbers, but I'm gonna risk it because we're playing a pear hand. Okay, we got a three, four, five. Let's take a photo of that. All these consecutive runs coming in. Holy cow. I'm gonna stick with this pear hand. No keepers. And we have to pass like numbers again. Oh, flower. We don't need three flowers. We're on last right. I'm not gonna pass a flower. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take a photo. I'm not passing a flower. We're gonna pass one blind. 
Oh, one blind there. Okay, now we have two to pass. So let's see, that last pass was a seven. I'm going to put it up there like that so we can recreate it. Okay, so we have four discards for the pair hand. We have a gap though, no five crack. So I think four discards, including a flower and a joker, probably forcing this pair hand was not as fruitful as I'd hoped. Probably another consecutive hand would have been better. Let's test it out. I'm going to reset. That's what we started with. Now I'm going to reset the Charleston. Okay, I got it. Oh, now, here we go. I'm thinking that mixed suit consecutive run hand was probably better. So we started out with one, two, three, four, and then maybe five dots. There's a gap there though. Let's go ahead and give these up here. So there's a four and a three. One, two, three, four, four, five. I am not going to pass a flower. One, two, three, four, five dot. Let's go ahead and pass these three. There's a five dot. Two, three, flower. One, two, three, four, five. We are on, we went right across, we're on first left. I would pass, pass one blind. One blind, five, four, five, four, and I would stop the Charleston. One, two, three, four, five. This hand is set. I would say I want no, no tiles because I would not pass flowers. I would just stop it right there. So this was by far the better hand and it's even set. One, two, three, Kong, Kong, 30 point hand. That's when you would stop the Charleston, I say. You could do an optional cross with two flowers. I would not do that. Would you do that? Write it in the comment section if you would have handled this differently. Oh my goodness sake. Those tiles just fit right in. Every one of them. Oh man. That would have been interesting to play out two away after stopping the Charleston. That's pretty good. Let me know what you think about that. I'll put a link below the video for when I think are some good guidelines for when to stop the Charleston and when to pass blind. It's very situational though, and you really kind of have to see what's going around the table and then figure out whether or not your tiles are risky to pass or innocuous. In this case, flowers, very risky, especially a pear. Oh my goodness. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Chain Reaction for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.